Evening, it's uh, a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 21st of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Opta Market updates from leading providers at Google Play and the Apple App Store, or you can visit www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so uh, let's uh, unravel uh, the uh, the actual uh, market narrative for today's uh, trading Tuesday. Overall, uh, overwhelmingly negative. It was actually positive. Uh, initially, uh, until um, the markets, or should we say the US markets, certainly came on board, and then we had an en masse sell off. Okay, now in terms of um, the uh, end, well, the day's numbers or the uh, the market close, you have uh, the FTSE down 50 points, uh, 7378 close, DAX down uh, 90 points, at 11960 close, the CAC down 10 points, which pretty impressive, really, given the fact that. Uh, uh, the uh, yeah U.S. markets certainly have been uh, slaughtered uh, 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 in the uh, after hours or in the evening. Uh, FTSE MIB certainly down as well in the IBEX and the uh, the stock 600. Okay, so the narrative really uh, in terms of Europe in the morning we we, cer we certainly open bullish, open strong. If I bring up the actual index itself, let's bring up the German DAX 10-minute chart. You can see here uh, initially we open we gapped higher. Okay, we open up strong on the back of Macron news. Okay. Given the fact that he uh, certainly uh, did well in terms of the presidential debate, uh, in terms of uh, France, etc., we pushed high. We tried to close the gap. We we then were forced lower on the back of Comey and U.S. political uncertainty, etc., etc. Obviously, a stronger euro, Nowotny comments, etc. And then we ripped higher, uh, which was quite impressive. We ripped higher. We tested that 12100, 12110. And then it was literally a, a 200 point fall almost on the on German DAX. And that was mainly led to the US markets. It was all a US market led sell off. So interesting price action to say the least. Okay, we actually closed the gap and even moved lower. I mean, we closed the gap at uh, 12,010 and then we, we continued to flush lower. So impressive sell off to say the least. Okay, folks, very, very impressive sell off on the German DAX. Okay, so why did the market sell off? Good question. Okay, number one. Uh, U.S. banking stocks certainly being hurt due to the fact that uh, even though Miss Yellen uh, certainly um, gave her dovish uh, rhetoric uh, and certainly played down the uh, the prospects of a future rate hikes going forward and uh, certainly a non-committal there, okay, uh, certainly concerns with regards to a flattening yield curve going forward and therefore hurting bank profits, okay, and also valuations. There was a, a report by the uh, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, basically stating that the uh, the most overvalued equities in the world were U.S. stocks. Okay, and obviously that didn't help the the cause either. Okay, so on mass sell off there. Okay, a uh, risk aversion kicked in. Markets certainly went into a sell sell mode. OECD certainly arguing for uh, Chinese growth certainly being decreased. Uh, Trump arguing towards uh, drug costs being lowered as well. Uh, Merkel party potentially losing ground certainly hurting the. Uh, uh, CHF exports, imports certainly lower as well. Uh, Phylon, uh, Phylon, or Phylon, the uh, one of the uh, PM hopefuls for in France, certainly investigation being widened. And again, the fiscal stimulus concerns. I think one of the biggest arguments for the uh, US markets to move lower, which obviously forced European equities lower, uh, was the healthcare legislation bill failing to pass. Okay, uh, and the uh, impatience about the uh, timing of the uh, policy. Uh, delivery. So uh, again, if uh, if the le health legislation can't pass, there's there's no way the um, the actual infrastructure bill will pass, okay, or fiscal stimulus bill will pass. So certainly, given the fact that Mr. Comey, his uh, testimony yesterday, undermined and uh, well, basically ridiculed and humiliated Trump, he's lost a lot of political cap capital there, and therefore, obviously, he loses support. And if he loses support, there's no way he's going to pass any legislation in the uh, in the House with the Republicans fighting one another. So all those arguments again uh, factored or certainly came together. Oil certainly uh, bore the brunt as well. Oil certainly coming under pressure as well, given the shale uh, gas uh, potential shale revolution in terms of uh, obviously uh, increasing oil supply there and negating any reduction in the OPEC cuts as well. So all those factors came together, okay, all those factors came together. The Nikkei certainly weaker overnight as well. The Nikkei actually got clobbered uh, from 19,500 down to 19,100 as the USDJPY certainly hit the lows as well. You can see here in the daily chart, USDJPY now into support. So certainly being butchered as well, the USDJPY. The US dollar certainly is into support, though bear that in mind, okay, US dollar from my perspective, 
certainly is coming into support now so it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts okay right in terms of uh, equities now let's look at the actual picture and let's see exactly where we stand okay so german dax let's go to the weekly chart first and foremost uh, still an inside bar so no overtly bearish price action here so just bear that in mind a daily chart i've been hammering about this or been arguing for this that you have a potential rising contracting wedge and we've certainly broken down so it's a bearish engulfing candle on the german dax okay after hours the german dax is trading around the 11900 level 11920 is, is major support if that breaks the next support is 11830 and that's where you're looking for gap fill so you're looking for the gap to close so bear that in mind okay in terms of the 60 minute chart on the german dax you have the hns formation which i've been ranting and raving about okay that certainly did come into motion as you can see here the hns formation kicked in okay right shoulder kicked in we hit that fib 61 and then we've obviously crushed out crushed out lower now hns formation or hns target here given the fact that we've now we're now in play hns equals the pivot high which was 12 150 let's just call it 12 150 for the sake of easy calculation 12 150 minus the 12 uh let's just call it 1200 or 12,000 equals you're looking at 150 drop so you're looking at 11850 okay so equals 11850 that's your potential target on the downside for the german dax uh, we've all we're almost there I and mean, you have 11 830 as, in, as uh, being gap fill okay bear in mind there is massive support at 11 920 so looking for a potential bounce so if 11 920 fails to hold and you are looking at 11 8 uh, 30 gap fill so watch out for gap fill below 10 minute chart okay let's look at the 10 minute chart now on the uh, german dax let's see exactly where we stand here uh, okay let's just bring this up folks okay so german dax here 11 830 okay so uh, we have support at uh, 11 8, 8, 9, 20 and then 11 9, 30 if that fails and obviously we've already distinguished given terms of uh, but next potential support being gap fill now on the, on the up you have a 12 0, 30 as in gap uh, previous support equals resistance previous support equals resistance at 12 0, 40 then you have resistance at 12.060 and the next resistance is at 12.110. So watch out for all those resistance zones above on the German DAX, okay? French CAC now, let's go over to the French CAC, given the fact that it was supported by Mr. Macron, certainly showing positivity, showing um, uh, versatility. Uh, now you have come into gap fill on the daily chart, so gap fill is at 4.985. Currently sitting at 4985 on the French CAC after hours. So again, watch out for support there. Okay, so the French CAC certainly holding its own. A 60 minute chart of the uh, French CAC here, just basically connecting the upper channel and resistance lines together. We certainly topped out at the uh, uh, pivot R3 resistance and then obviously we reverse very, very powerful. We failed to hold support at 5004 and eventually we did actually hit that gap fill. Now that's the gap that I was trying to go for the day before and we failed to close so certainly interesting how markets can do that they can go up hit new highs and then reverse down quite sharply so that's the, the least i the way i expected the market to actually close the gap but as you can see hits that pivot high at 5050 then reverses 65 points in the opposite direction interesting <laughs> very very interesting okay so you are looking for gap fill below at 4985 which we've got so that certainly will come into come as a support okay you have support below that then at 4960 so watch out for 4960 support then you have support below at uh, 4965 as well so watch out for those two zones okay right in terms of the FTSE 100 let's bring up the FTSE itself daily chart the FTSE I've been arguing you have a, a doji hanging man and obviously today we, we flushed we tested that previous resistance equal support and some okay so we're down to 7360 after hours we're, we're down to 7350 so watch out for 7350 below 60 minute chart now on the FTSE 100 we failed to hold that previous well, horizontal support at 7400 once we flushed and broke that to 7400 it certainly opened up below the pivot low has been 7360 so far you have support at 7345 with the 200 ma and this key diagonal trend line as well so support at 7340 7345 watch out for support there we did actually have support here previous resistance equal support failed to hold okay so we ignore that altogether okay there is some support in this zone here which is at 7360 so 7360 7340 support resistance above will be at 7400 
and then obviously the uh, zones above. So again, we did actually eventually both break that 7400 on the back of stronger inflation data as well. So bear that in mind. FTSE itself, stronger inflation data. In terms of the other economic data today, uh, that was of any major importance re realistically. Uh, Red Book Index came in slightly weaker. Uh, global D GDT, Global Dairy Auction came in stronger, so they were helping come odds. We did have a, a speech by Mr. Fed's George. API data as well came in. Uh, so obviously came in on the stronger side there by hurting commodities even further. So certainly a lot of uh, information there, folks, in terms of the market to to actually react to. It's been interesting thus far, okay, today's price action. Last but not least, Euro stocks. Let's bring up the Euro stocks, folks. Okay, let's see exactly where we stand here on the euro stocks again this was a, a real conundrum daily chart made a new high and then obviously reversed quite sharply gap filled below is at 3410 so watch out for 3410 below 60 minute chart again we continued to make a new high only to reverse which was quite uh, annoying uh, as a trader uh, when the market makes a new high as a trader you have to respect higher highs and higher lows okay uh, and then when the market reverses as sharply it certainly is quite uh, humiliating as a trader when you actually buy the uh, buy the dip so again uh, looking at uh, the move here you have got support at uh, 3410 gap fill okay uh, you have you did actually have support here as well which was at 3430 3427 okay looking at potentially carving out HNS formation as well okay 10 minute chart market flushed ideally you're looking at gap fill below at uh, 3410 uh, obviously you have horizontal support at 3428 3427 looking to potentially hold so be interesting to see how the markets react there okay in terms of the euro stocks okay i think that's a good summation then really of european equities i just could quickly look at oil before i go given the uh, stronger obviously uh, oil data certainly uh, increasing the, uh, the the actual pressure on the supply side of the equation okay so we've obviously moved lower we've obviously closed the gap there as you can see okay uh, in terms of oil there is another gap below which we've failed to close as of yet, which is around the 46.8 level. So watch out for that. Okay, 60 minute chart really is all, what it's all about. Okay, so you're back down to double bottom support now. It'll be interesting to see if we can actually hold that support zone. So bear that in mind, okay? All prices are at a critical juncture here as well. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.